Hi, this is Zach Mir from Master Investor, the Investor Conference on April the 25th uh, in London, featuring Nigel Farage, Jim Mellon and myself charting most of that Saturday. Uh, we have the Bulletin Board Heroes today, uh, starting off with Amphion Innovations. Here we've got this extended flag above the 50-day and 200-day moving averages at uh, 2.4 pence. We just had a golden cross from them, and it looks as though the shares are going to break this uh, flag over the next few sessions. Um, support should come in towards the 10-day moving average at 3.24 pence, and uh, the breakout towards the top of last year's channel as high as 7 pence um, as a best-case scenario over the next one to two months. Obviously, the way things are going, it, it may be that this uh, move to the upside is rather quicker than that suggested time frame. Next up is Gfinity, which is a stock which is relatively new to the market, uh, but there is some charting interest, even though there's not much charting data. Uh, the initial support, as you can see there, or when the shares came to market in December, was uh, 20 pence. Uh, that was tested and then broken, and then we've got this sort of basing below 20 pence um, over the last few weeks. Decent end of week close back above 20 pence, and that shows that uh, uh, we've sort of got acceptance of new support there. Gap to the upside as well uh, to start this week, so that is encouraging, showing the momentum is back here. And uh, the simple technical trade is that while there's no end of day close back below 20 pence, one would be looking for a retest of the best levels towards 29 pence and beyond over the next four to six weeks. Another stock in focus, which has actually done very well in recent days, um, one, I, one I actually shied away from is um, TriStar because it already looked as though it had gone up a lot, a long way, and I like to try and get these things early. But uh, there is technical significance at the moment in the sense that uh, the shares have broken above the 200-day moving average. That's a falling feature at 0.14 pence. Uh, breaking a stock or a market breaking through the 200-day line when it's falling tends to be that much, uh, a sort of that much more bullish and a stronger situation. So definitely a situation to look out for. Any weakness towards the 200-day line now uh, would regard it as a buying opportunity. Um, a stop loss end of day close back below it. And the target could be as high as uh, the top of this rising 2014, uh, this broadening triangle uh, up to 0.4 pence over the next one to two months. Uh, so an encouraging situation after the, uh, the bear trap that we saw there uh, at the beginning of this month. Uh, finishing off with a stock which um, has been hit uh, Quite, well, it was hit quite hard after the initial peaks um, at the beginning of last year. The shares hit sort of 20, 25 pence at best. That's Tyrotech. Uh, I think it's the head lice uh, cure uh, company. Um, here we've got uh, what is normally significant uh, technical situation in terms of the break above the 50-day moving average. That's at 5.35 pence. That's also now the end of day close stop loss on the buy argument. And what we'd be looking for a top of uh, July, uh, try, sorry, top of July channel target uh, towards nine pence. That's just above the 200-day moving average there at 8.35 pence. Time frame on that maybe by the end of next month, and probably if you can get back above that uh, quite relatively quickly, um, you could see Tyrotech revisit its old uh, highs. There is some resistance probably towards um, the uh, seven pence area, which was support in. In, in July, uh, but at the moment uh, it looks as though the, the turnaround is definitely underway. That's it from me. More updates at masterinvestor.co.uk.